Hey, what's up girlies? How's everybody doing? I hope all of you are doing great today. So today we're going to be working with this beautiful green Christmas design. So then let's begin. I'm going to start off with number HP061 from Honey Fan Nails, which is a beautiful green. We're also going to be using brown lights from, from Fantasy Nails, I'm sorry. And we're also going to be using red bottoms. You guys, I know I haven't posted it on my website, but I promise you it'll be up on my website soon. I, I'm just getting some little details um, prepared for you guys. But anyway, um, we're also going to be using Silent Night, which is a gold from my Christmas collection. And last but not least, we're also going to be using Butter Pecan, which is a creamy, like, buttery pecan nude. <laughs> the name says it all, you guys. So... I'm sure you guys can hear me a little different. I know you guys can hear me like a little nasally and stuff. Uh, I don't know if I'm coming down with a cold or something, but I feel very nasally and my throat is starting to get like scratchy. So yeah, I'm so sorry you guys, but hopefully it's not that ugly COVID. Um, hopefully not. But anyway, other than that, I feel good you guys. I feel so good. Um, but yeah, I'm going to start off here by doing a little fringe here on the middle nail. And as you guys can see here, I'm using my Butter Pecan Nude just so that I could, just so that I can create that fringe. Um, fringe for me, you guys, it's like very, very hard to, to make. They're very difficult in my eyes. I've tried to practice, I've tried to do a lot of things, but honestly, like, it's just very hard. But if you guys have that little... Uh, that little round um, French cutter thing you can definitely try that um, me I don't know I guess I forgot I did I had it there from honey fan I bought it and I didn't use it so that was a bummer but it's all good you guys I tried my best to do it here as always and then on the ring finger I'm gonna be applying the light brown from fantasy nails fantasy nails you can find it on eBay um, it's very easy just type in there fantasy nails and it should appear um, sometimes they um, they sell them separately and sometimes they sell them as a bundle. So I guess you would just have to, you know, just look around. Um, but for sure, uh, eBay has them, okay? And then um, the tips that I'm using on today's video are the extra long C... No, they're not the C curve. These, are, these do not have a C curve, you guys. But these are the extra long coffin tips, okay? And they are on my website as well. You can find them there. And I'm also using my number 12 brush for my online store. You can also find it there. Link will be in the description box below. And I only ship to US and Puerto Rico. So if you guys are from Puerto Rico, I do make, uh, I do ship over there, okay? <laughs> I'm so sorry I'm all over the place today. It's just that my throat is just getting on my nerves. But anyway, uh, here I'm going to be applying the glitter. This is called Silent Night, and this is from my Christmas collection. Like I said, you can find it on my online store. A lot of the products here mentioned can be found on my online store. So, link will be in the description box below. And, um, yeah, I'm going to be applying this glitter all over the pinky. And um, right here, you know, it's just... Usually, glitter is easier to work with than, like, colored acrylics. Well, to me. When I just had first started on nails, I would prefer to work with glitter other than colored acrylics because they would mold better instead of the colored acrylics. Um, so if you guys are beginners, trust me, the process with glitter acrylics are much better because they have a different consistency, I guess, because the glitter is a little heavier. I don't know, but they do have a different consistency and they're much easier to work with but yeah anyway going back to my index finger i'm gonna be doing like a color blocking here so i'm gonna be applying the glitter here on the center of the nail and then on the tip of the nail and then on the cuticle area we're gonna be applying the green so off camera i'm gonna be perfecting the french line or the little french we did on the middle nail and we're also gonna be perfecting this little color blocking we just did so that we're able to place down our green with no issues whatsoever. So yeah, because I would highly recommend that if you made a little mistake on the on your fringe or even on your color blocking, go back with your hand file and perfect it. I am pretty sure it's going to look very nice and crisp and it's not going to look crooked or anything like that. So as you guys can see here, I'm going to start by applying the green here. 
and um, that's pretty much what I'm gonna do so after that I'm gonna go ahead and cap everything you want to make sure to cap because we do have a lot going on here so just make sure you cap your nails make sure that you secure everything you just did so that you don't ruin it whenever you come with your hand file or your you know your little drill whatever you're using so just make sure you secure everything in place by capping everything with your crystal clear acrylic um, and for that I'm gonna be using glam and glitz crystal clear and their monomer So now I'm going to be capping everything. Like I said, you guys, make sure to cap. There's a lot of reasons why you should be capping. First off, we do have a lot of glitter going on. I don't know what the heck I was. I think I was watching TV. I don't know what I was doing there, you guys. But I'm so sorry about that. But anyway, here we go. <laughs> so it's important, you guys, because there's just many reasons why as to you should be capping your nails. First of all, even if I'm using a nude, I like to cap. To me, whenever you file the nail, it looks much better capped than just uh, a straight up nude. You know what I mean? But that's just me. That's how I got used to working. Number two, it just adds the right strength to each and every nail. Wherever the, the nail needs to have its right strength. For example, on the apex, it should be a lot thicker than the rest of the nail. I've told you this before. And... Um, also, sometimes the colored acrylics don't have the right strength that the, just because they do have a lot of pigment, of course, so that's not gonna, you know, that's not gonna protect the nail from you hurting it or, you know, whenever you bump your nails or whatever you're doing and it's just not gonna have the right protection, you know what I mean? So if you add your crystal clear acrylic, it, it adds more protection because you're gonna be adding the right strength to each and every nail. So it's going to be a lot more safer, if that makes sense. I hope I'm making sense. 
but yeah you guys um it's very important for you guys to cap um i know that a lot of nail ticks um work different and this is just me you guys i'm not saying that my way is perfect my way is the correct one no you guys but um this is just what i know and i just let you guys know what i know how i how i got used to working you know what i mean but again everybody works different and as you go you're gonna be picking up your own ways of working and that's perfect because if it works for you then it's perfect so yeah, chicas, I'm just going to finish capping everything and then I'm also going to be filing and buffing off camera and I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, chicas, so now I'm going to be taking my matte top coat and I'm going to be applying it here on my ring finger just because to me it makes it easier to do 3D or to draw on it. It's just a lot easier for me to work on top of a, a smooth surface or a matte surface, okay? But you guys do whatever you like to do. This is just me. And now I'm going to be doing some 3D mistletoes. So I start off with three little berries or whatever they're called <laughs> i think they're berries and I'm, I'm just gonna center them just very very tiny using my number five 3d brush which can be found ebay amazon pretty much anywhere um so that's what i'm gonna be doing you guys and um i'm using the red from my online store which is called red bottoms and like i said you guys it'll be soon on my website i'm just getting the last details on it ready um I've been swatching it like a million times. I just want it perfect for you guys. So just bear with me. It'll be soon on the website. It'll be up soon on the website. And yeah. Then I'm going to be taking the green that we used previously on the acrylic process. And I'm going to be using it to do the little petals of the mistletoe. And honestly you guys. This acrylic from Honey Fan. It's pretty hard to work with 3D. I mean I made it work. But if you're a beginner and you're trying to use something for your 3D, this is going to be a little more harder for you. I literally had to put down the petals and let them dry and then start molding them. Because if I went in right away, straight in with my brush, I just literally made a mess. So um, it's a little harder to work with with 3D. Um, so yeah, just have that in mind that for, of course, acrylic for like a French or whatever, like I use it here. It's perfect, but for 3D, it is a little harder. Um, so, yeah. Um, like I said, I'm going to be doing the little mistletoes here. I'm going to be doing two. And then I'm also going to be adding some little caviar beads in rose gold just so that the gold um, pops up a little bit more. And there's going to be a lot going on here, you guys, except for the thumb. I didn't do much on the thumb. I just applied the green all over the nail, and that's pretty much what I did. Um, Christmas designs are a little more, uh, I guess there's a little more work to them because each and every nail has something different, you know what I mean? You, you do, you know, 3D, you do, um, snowflakes, you do the little sweater effect, you do a whole bunch of things, you guys, onto the nails whenever it's Christmas, so, um, my designs have been a little longer than usual, I'm so sorry about that. 
but yeah you guys um there's gonna be a lot going on like i said there's gonna be crystal there's gonna be 3d there's gonna be sweater effect there's gonna be snowflakes so just you know watch this process <laughs> and i'll be right back with you some of them i some of the clips i did speed them up like a lot so just so that you guys won't get bored but yeah anyway just watch this whole process and i'll be right back
okay chicas so right here as you guys saw i went ahead and applied some little crystals in ab in red and in green and i also went ahead and added some caviar beads right in the center of them and the glue did leave like residue left behind on the mat and it was showing up like really bad i just went ahead and used a little detail brush or a little liner brush just so that i can apply more matte top coat onto those little residues left behind and everything looked better so yeah <laughs> um so this is the end result you guys i really hope you guys like it and i am so sorry if i wasn't very talkative throughout this video it's just that my throat is really getting on my nerves and i've been coughing so yeah you guys um thank you so much for being here i will see you on the next one stay safe god bless and bye bye